very easy to use trust wallet you can see here here is the sign trust wallet is the most easiest thing to use and it is one of the most safest non-custodial wallets so you see here there is send receive buy and swap for buy you can buy any cryptos using fiat wallet fiat wallet means from your dollars or else from your country wallet so you can see here select any one of the uh, service providers these are the third service providers who will help you in receiving funds from your account and then you can start buying any cryptos by funding your trust wallet account so this is it but if you want to transfer if you want to receive cryptos or else if you want to buy cryptos if you already have any cryptos in your trust wallet then it's very easy to use if you want to receive just receive your crypto by typing any crypto name and then you can receive it from your other wallet for example coinbase or binance and then receive your wallet for example say if you want to receive ethereum you can see here i can just receive it by copy pasting the address select your address only just select set the amount for example 20 eth then after confirming 20 ETH, that's it. You will be able to receive this much amount of ETH on your trust wallet. So it's easy. Now, if you want to buy any cryptos using trust wallets DAP browser, here comes the thing. Anything you want to buy, trust wallet and pancake swap combination is the best. Obviously, it will take time. You can see here, see. It is taking time in discover but if you go to dev browser and then if you select pancake swap you can see here you'll be able to see pancake swap under DeFi tab so click on pancake swap pancake swap is the best decentralized exchange which you can buy any decentralized token from meme coin to main coins main coins which are blue chip cryptos or layer one cryptos which are bitcoin ethereum solana and goes so on you can see here see your wallet will get automatically connected you see trust wallet and your binance margin wallet addresses are different so trust wallet is for trust wallet only don't use binance margin you see you'll be connected to binance margin here but don't make the mistake that binance margin wallet and trust wallet addresses wallet address will be same which many of you make mistakes it's all right it's beginner mistakes even i made it mistakes too and then you can see here you can select aptos ethereum or else pin and smart chain so ethereum is costly so it's better to invest with dap 20 tokens which is under pin and smart chain pin and smart chain is not that cheap too but still it is way cheaper than ethereum so you can invest in bap 20 tokens by choosing any of the cryptos you just need their map 20 wallet address say for example if you want to say invest in binance you can see here you can click on binance you can see here see you can click on binance and then or else you can buy cake tokens let's start with cake see if you want to buy cake tokens you see if you want to buy cake tokens then you need to have at least a certain amount of bnb bnb is the only token which is the actual bap 20 token so if you want to buy any cryptos using bnb then see you have to invest in bnb bap 20 token if you find it expensive you can select busd go for busd select any busd token it's better to invest in busd see if you select busd here if you have busd cryptos in your trust wallet app then load up your busd from binance just receive your tokens from trust wallet and then that's it select the amount of busd you want to spend see busd is backed up by dollar just it's under BAP20 token and then after selecting the amount say you want to buy cake tokens you see it is going to load up here and remember always keep slippage tolerance from just mere 5% to 
20 percent but you don't have to reach 20 percent front running means you are selling your tokens at higher prices that's it so you cannot do 100 percent front running this will be immediately you, you know rejected by the crypto so rejected by the exchange itself so after it loads here you can see here it will load automatically sometimes it will take time you can see here it's loading so after loading you must see here the slippage tolerance it should get automatically detected or adjusted so if slippage tolerance isn't here you can see here you may try and transaction maybe front run don't worry about it just click on 12 person and keep on customizing see sometimes your crypto might be on loop it might keep on showing this loop right don't worry about it it will keep showing this loop sometimes it takes time that is why because and you know the server the exchange is busy that is why it takes time so keep on changing the slippage tolerance so you just have to adjust the slippage tolerance accordingly only then you'll be able to get the proper value for exchanging and then that's it click on click on slippage tolerance you see you just have to click on swap here swap option will come here till then it will keep on search keep on finding for the best prices you just have to you know keep selecting the best slippage tolerance you see at this year you are going to buy particular cryptos that is why you don't have to worry some people keep the slippage tolerance at 25 percent too you don't have to worry about that because slippage tolerance will keep on changing from time to time low risk means you don't have to worry about it these are risks means pancakes of automatically shows which cryptos are worth investing as in no risk or risk at all that is why you need to properly invest most meme coins are scams so stop worrying about meme coins if you're a beginner don't make my mistake don't be greedy just invest in proper bap 20 tokens and then that's it you'll be able to buy proper cryptos proper non-risky cryptos and if you buy any meme coin from pancake swap automatically it will be shown that this particular crypto is way risky you can see your scanning risk see medium risk so this keeps on happening this will keep on changing from time to time so you don't have to worry about that sometimes if the network is slow it will take time to search for the best price so you have to click the best one for the best slippage tolerance and just wait that is the problem with decentralized exchanges it is actually very time consuming and then that's all for if you want to trade any cryptos using web 20 tokens using pancake swap under trust wallet under pancake swap and this liquidity here is that you provide particular liquidity for particular cryptos that's it you don't have to worry perpetuals are contracts you don't have to go here you don't have to be that greedy betting on perpetuals okay so don't worry about that you just worry about swapping the cryptos and if you want to earn by providing liquidity if you want to earn by providing liquidity for particular cryptos you can do it for example say you want to provide liquidity for you can say say let's say for bnb and cake tokens okay you can see here <clears throat> you can select under which version of pancakes how you will provide the liquidity for you can see here see you just have to click on liquidity and then see pancakes swap for it you can select anyone say 0.25 person you will keep on earning the liquidity so this is going to happen on version 3 you can select version 2 too depends upon your rate depends upon what and how you want to provide a liquidity what is your risk tolerance say you want to 
by mm, say 192k tokens you can see your minimum price maximum price see full range you can just select the amount for example you want to provide say 3 bnb say if you provide 3 bnb for 3 bnb you can provide the liquidity you will always must have the equal number of bnb for the particular combination of token you are going to select for for example if you have if you want to supply say 0.20 usd worth of bnb then you must have 0 0.20 worth of cake tokens too only then your liquidity will suffice will be enough to provide liquidity to other particular decks and then you can earn interest so many people are selecting this for version 3 it says if you select one person see if you select one person then you'll be earning one percent fee for every transactions used from your provided liquidity that is all you will think that it's hard no don't worry say for example people are buying bnb for cake token okay so people will come under your they will come under your liquidity because you provided liquidity for both bnb and cake and then they will use your liquidity because you are you have provided liquidity for people to swap from your liquidity you will earn about one person 2.25 interest rate because you provided liquidity for investors to exchange and then you will keep on earning money on pancake swap you will receive cake tokens for providing bnb and cake token liquidity and these will go on from a multiple combination of cryptos that is how so for beginners that is the best thing you can do you can use swap and liquidity don't use anything don't even use ethereum under pancake swap don't worry about anything just use binance binance, binance smart chain you swap to trade on cryptos to buy cryptos to buy meme coins buy blue chip cryptos and then use liquidity if you have enough capital use liquidity to earn interest on your cryptos for example you are like the banker people are like taking loan from you not loan people are like coming to you so that they can transact their money in exchange for you taking certain amount of fee you're like the third party between two sellers between two buyer between buyers and sellers that is how it works that is why liquidity is very important for any decentralized exchanges that is why you need to know only about liquidity and swap for beginners that is how you use pen pancakes of that is how you use trust wallet and rest is don't worry you will see your cryptos after you buy you will see your wallet tokens here itself and then if you want to say add any new cryptos you just need their network token for example if you want to use any meme coin you can select their particular network many meme coins are under uh, binance smart chain so you just have to select the network and then paste their address that's it and then the name and symbol will come on automatically once you paste the address of particular cryptos and then you can click on save that's it the crypto you added will come out will be shown on your front screen wallet here itself so i did for a shark i did for elron i did for fibo that is how you are able to see particular meme coin cryptos in your crypto wallet that is how you use and how you invest using trust wallet now trust wallet is the best non-custodial app you can use to invest and trade cryptos and earn interest on your cryptos so if you find this video useful share like and comment your doubts